Okay, real quick, I just have to show you guys something that is very important for you to know about using this first name personalization merge tag. So a lot of times people will, will put this in their email, hello, F name. Well, that is great, but many times the person's first name is not populated in our audience data. So like we may not have some people's first name. So this is a problem, which means it would show up as hello blank with a comma, and it would be very obvious you don't have their first name. So there is a really easy workaround that I use every single time I write an email, and I highly recommend you using it. And it's called a conditional merge tag. So conditional meaning under certain conditions, you will show it and under certain conditions, you will not show it. So this down here in my email today, you will find what the, what the code is, what the tag, and it simply is this. And I have this saved in my, my personal Slack channel so that I can always just copy and paste it in my emails. But essentially what it says is, um, and I'm gonna make it bigger. Um, if there is a first name in my data, we're going to say, hi, Emily. Otherwise we're just going to say, hello, comma. All right. So it's called an if, if else, or if, and conditional merge tag. So you can change these to whatever you want. So I could say like, Howdy, Emily, comma, and if there's no first name, we could just say, hi there, comma, hi there, friend. Um, now, the trick is you save this, and then you want to preview it to make sure it works. So I'm going to preview, enter preview mode, and I'm going to turn this little toggle, enable live merge tag info, howdy, Abby. So obviously we had her name. But you basically want to check um, for people that that maybe you didn't have their first name and to see how it works. But it's looking good. I have most people's first name. So if else, then you will use this tag. Use this. Love it. Conditional merge tags are so important because a lot of times there might be one or two people that we're missing data for and you don't want your email to look like it's obvious. Um, so there you go. Enjoy. I hope this is helpful.